When Serena Williams broke off her relationship with longtime coach Patrick Murataglou earlier this year, the tennis community was in shock. Since 2011, Murataglou has been by Serena's side, and throughout their collaboration, she has won an incredible 10 of her 23 Grand Slam matches. Both fans and experts were left wondering what might have caused this unexpected split. Today, we explore Patrick's confessions regarding their breakup and explore the unusual events that led to it. Welcome to Tennis Flicks, a channel dedicated to the latest and greatest in the tennis world. You will be captivated by today's amazing video. Serena Williams' former coach totally burns her during live interview. Tennis fans were shocked to learn that Simona Halep had hired Patrick Murataglou as her full-time coach in April of this year. The tennis world was stunned by this sudden action, which sparked wild rumors about what might have happened between Serena Williams and her dependable coach. Patrick Murataglou recently made the decision to speak up about the circumstances behind his breakup with Serena. He admitted that before opting to team up with Simona Halep, he had issued an ultimatum to the 23-time Grand Slam victor. Due to an injury she sustained at Wimbledon the year before, Serena had been absent from the tennis scene for almost a year. Her absence from the competition this year was so substantial that she didn't even show up on the official entry list. Prior to the Indian Wells competition, Simona Halep had already sought Patrick, but he had turned her down because of his undying devotion to Serena. But a few weeks later, he was presented with a fresh opportunity that he could not pass up. As Serena's homecoming date remained uncertain, Patrick made the decision that he couldn't continue to wait for her. In an honest admission, Patrick revealed that their long-standing relationship had changed when he gave Serena an ultimatum. Serena acknowledged she wasn't sure but gave a statement that was far from conclusive. Patrick told Serena he would be waiting for her at training on a Monday because the Grand Slam event was coming up soon. Her absence would be a blatant indication that their relationship had reached its conclusion. Sadly, Serena missed the training session and their 10-year partnership came to an end. Patrick gushed about how happy he was to have teamed up with Simona Halep. He credited much of his immense delight in his new position to the optimistic outlook and dedication displayed by the two-time Grand Slam champion. Patrick was inspired by Simona's capacity for cooperation and her commitment to their common objectives. He also remarked on the strong connection he had with Simona right away, which boded well for their future collaboration. Patrick is obviously excited about this new phase in his coaching career, a chance that came along at a key time. The departure of Serena Williams' longtime coach Patrick Murataglou signaled a big shift in her career when she arrived at Wimbledon. Patrick played a significant role in her incredible journey, guiding her to 10 Grand Slam singles titles, doubles triumphs, Olympic gold medals, and the much sought-after world number one ranking. Serena was questioned about her feelings on Patrick's absence from her coaching box for the first time in 10 years during a pre-tournament news conference at Wimbledon. She gave a noticeably guarded reaction. She promptly denied the idea, saying she hadn't even considered it. Serena expressed her happiness and enjoyment of her time at Wimbledon, indicating that the loss of her longtime mentor was not on her mind. Serena's remark might come out as uncaring or uninterested, but it could also be seen as a strategy for her to stay focused and direct her energy to her performance on the court. Athletes frequently adopt a stoic demeanor during times of change and transition in order to prevent unneeded interruptions. At Wimbledon, it's interesting to note that Serena Williams selected Eric Hechtman, who coaches her sister. This choice demonstrated her adaptability to changing circumstances and her dedication to her craft. At Wimbledon, 16th-seeded Simona Halep began her run with a match against Carolina Muchova of the Czech Republic. On the other hand, Serena's first match was against Harmony Tan of France. They might come up against one another in the quarterfinals if both players win their remaining four matches. Serena currently has a 10-2 advantage over Simona Halep in head-to-head -head competition. The outcome of this probable matchup is keenly anticipated by tennis fans around the world since it seems to be an exciting contest between two strong competitors. Serena has reached four Grand Slam finals during this time but has failed to win any of them. 
The story of her pursuit of the coveted 24th Grand Slam title, which would tie Margaret Cott's record, has grown to be one of the most captivating in contemporary tennis. Serena Williams continues to be an unstoppable force in the sport even though she has failed in the past. Two-time Grand Slam winner Tracy Austin recently expressed her support for Serena's legacy. Serena's greatness shouldn't be determined just by the number of Grand Slam victories, according to Austin. Serena's extraordinary career, filled with innumerable triumphs, solidifies her place among the all-time greats of the sport. Austin said she hoped Serena will one day equal or beat Margaret Cott's record. But even if she doesn't reach this goal, Serena's legacy is already assured. Unquestionably the best tennis player the world has ever seen, Emera Dukonu and Andy Murray were two noteworthy British players whose participation generated a great deal of excitement as Wimbledon reopened to spectators after a three-year break. Rising prodigy Emera Dukonu, 19, made a stunning entrance on Wimbledon's centre court. Tennis fans all around the world are still mesmerized by the young British player's incredible run. On the other side, as Andy Murray, a cherished British tennis legend, stepped onto the court, the audience exploded in applause. In his debut encounter against James Duckworth, Murray lost the first set, but he quickly recovered to win the match in four sets. The tournament is made much more exciting by the presence of Andy Murray and Emera Dukonu there. A negative COVID-19 test result forced Matteo Brittini to withdraw from the competition, which was a major setback for Wimbledon 2023. Given that Brittini had been in exceptional form on grass coming up to the competition, this development was a huge blow to him and his supporters. Tennis fans were especially disappointed by his withdrawal because he had brashly stated his intention to win Wimbledon. He admitted his disappointment at being unable to participate, but he promised to come back stronger. Tennis fans will definitely be anticipating Berrettini's return to the tour with great anticipation due to his tenacity and resiliency in the face of difficulty. Not only Matteo Berrettini was forced to leave Wimbledon after a COVID-19 test resulted in a positive result. Another Wimbledon finalist, Marin Silic, experienced the same outcome. Additionally, Silic had been working out with some of the best names in the sport, such as Rafael Nadal and the current champion Novak Djokovic. Fans obviously eagerly anticipated seeing Silic and other great players participate at Wimbledon, but everyone's safety must come first. Finally, the surprising breakup of Serena Williams and her coach, Patrick Murataglou, has introduced a fascinating new level of intrigue to the tennis scene. The coaching environment in the sport has changed as a result of Patrick's choice to break off his relationship with Serena and his subsequent partnership with Simona Halep. The tennis community eagerly awaiting any matchups between Serena Williams and Simona Halep as Wimbledon 2023 progresses. Serena's pursuit of her 24th Grand Slam victory and the ongoing discussion surrounding her legacy continue to intrigue both spectators and commentators. Today's video has come to an end. We looked at Serena Williams' former coach totally burns her during the live interview. We sincerely hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse into the renowned ATP player Serena Williams and her scuffle. For more intriguing content, don't forget to comment on your favorite part of our video and why, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Until then, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. If you have a video idea for our channel, please comment and our team will respond immediately. Game. Set. Match.